Hey Scorpio, how are you? Welcome to Karma Life Readings. I'm Alexandra. Happy birthday. I hope you guys are doing well. This is going to be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're going to take a look, really brief check-in at what messages Spirit has for you on a soul level. What are you going through? What are you looking to deal with and heal this month, uh, November 2021? Uh, if you're new here, welcome. Please make sure that you subscribe. Please keep in mind this is a general reading, so some or none of this may resonate with you. If it does, hit the like button so other Scorpios have the opportunity of viewing this reading. I'm currently not offering personal readings. My children and I are moving out of state in a few weeks, so I have a lot on my plate. You can follow me on Instagram. That information is in the description box below. Um, on Instagram, I do go live once a week uh, and give you guys a collective reading. We're going over social uh, social work. Some Maybe some of you guys are social workers or dealing with that, but no, we go over shadow work. And I give you guys prompts and guidance to help you on your ascension journey. So with that being said, we're going to do a quick blessing and we're going to jump into what messages Spirit has for you. All right. Mother, Father, God, Divine, Holy Spirit of the Most High, thank you so much for allowing me to be a clear channel of receiving messages for Scorpio in regards to their current soul path, soul journey, and life lessons. I ask that these messages provide guidance, clarity, healing, and understanding on what karmic cycles and soul lessons Scorpio will be learning this month in November 2021. Lord, in all that you are and all that you do, and all that I am and all that I do, I live by your word and your word only. In Yeshua's name I pray, amen. All right, Scorpio, let me just get my palo here. I cleansed before we came on, but I just want to have it going. Something is telling me to have it going. So let's start there. If I'm wanting my palo to go, I'm seeing from spirit that maybe some of you are clearing things out of your life. You're dealing with um, friendships or maybe even family members I'm seeing where you're realizing, although they think they have your best interest at heart, it's actually not working for you. And so you're making decisions and choices of which path do you need to go when it comes to certain people in your life? Who do you need to let go of? Who do you need to... Um, who do you need to let go of? Who do you, and I'm sorry, that's my son. Who do you need to let go of? Who do you need to cut off? Which path is, is highest for your growth? So let's take a look here. <clears throat> we have the golden children, inner child, tenderness, innocence, and rare gifts. The golden child, the courageous peony, multifaceted, unique nature, let yourself be seen. And on the bottom of the deck, we have a new earth. It's happening. Keep holding the vision. All right, Scorpio, let's see. I, like I said, you're, you, you are working on yourself. And when you work on yourself, it's not only within, but whatever happens within happens without. So what you are cutting yourself free from on the inside, what you are releasing, any inner child wounds, um, you're recognizing where you need to cut ties and release in your outer life as well, Scorpio. Some of you may be coming into your gifts. You may be really connecting with who you were as a child, bringing your inner child out. And for the first time in a long time, I feel like some of you are taking your mask off. Okay, so that's not going to make sense to everyone. It's only going to make sense to a few. Um, give me one moment, Scorpio. I'm really going to need you to stop. Thank you. So we have the golden children, the courageous peony. I feel like this is you taking your, your mask off, slowing down. My son is a Scorpio, so he's like... Right now, he was just running all around, um, and he knows better to do that. And I feel like this is something pertaining to your reading. It's it's a slowing down, so to speak. You're recognizing where maybe you need to pump the brakes um, in certain areas of your life, okay? And then the outcome is a new earth. It's happening. Keep holding the vision. You're trying to create a life that you 
can be proud of, a life that means something, right? So let's clarify. Holy Spirit, please tell me about the, the golden children, please, for Scorpio. Please tell me about the golden children for the month of November. Two of Cups. Wow. With the rare gifts. Emperor, you are growing. Look at you. You are in an ascension. Two of Cups and the Emperor. You are connecting and aligning with who you truly are. So inner child tenderness, innocence, rare gift. I think that you're recognizing there is a particular connection or situation in your life that is different. That is unlike anything else. It is rare. That is special. And you're connecting with your inner child. You're wanting to heal yourself so that you can come into union either with a specific person or with your match, with your soulmate, with that life partner. And you recognize that in doing so, you have to look within, you have to heal yourself. You're starting to see, it's like I said with cutting people out, you're starting to see which people were fated and which people were destined to be in your life. Um, and you're, you're breaking free from a lot of trauma, wounds, and pain. So it's okay, Scorpio, if you feel like you're in the dark at times or if this is painful. Okay, you're shedding. You're becoming the phoenix. Clarify the courageous peony, please, for Scorpio. Ten of Pentacles. Yes, with the Queen of Pentacles on the bottom. Could be dealing with an Earth sign, um, uh, Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus. Doesn't have to be. But again, the Courageous Peony, multifaceted, unique nature. Let yourself be seen with the Ten of Pentacles. You are worth it. You are worthy. You are finally stepping into your power. It's so like I said, you're taking off the mask. You're allowing people to see how creative, how powerful you are. You're on the money. You're on point. You're focused on your stability, foundation, building your life. You want a commitment. And this is you speaking your truth. For some of you, I have to say this could be some type of inheritance coming in. You have money coming in. Okay, and it's because of the work that you've been putting on yourself. It's because of the, the time that you've invested into bettering yourself, Scorpio. You are manifesting a union. You're manifesting a divine union, and that's what you're going to experience. As some of you may be getting married or engaged. You may be moving in, but there is wedding bells um, around the corner. And, and please keep in mind that marriage is different to all people, so... Marriage could just be a higher level of commitment in your relationship. Marriage could just be, you know, taking the next step to move in with each other or having children with each other. But there's something here about coming together in a committed union that you feel is unlike any other connection. And then you have a new earth. It's happening. Keep holding the vision. Holy Spirit, please clarify a new earth. Seven of Swords with the Ace of Coins. Oh, you have doubts sometimes because you don't have all the answers, right? Somebody's keeping something or you're keeping something to yourself about a new beginning, a new opportunity that has presented itself to you that you want to create. There's a new life here for you, a new journey, a new path, something you've never experienced before, but you're nervous about it. But Spirit is saying, don't give up, please. It, it is happening just because you don't have all the answers. But there is a new opportunity that is here for you, Scorpio. And it's just a matter of you pushing through um, some of those growing pains. The people Again, you need to cut out people that are no longer beneficial to your path and your journey. Because I see you clearing the way. It's like somebody or more than one, was getting in the way of your happiness. For some of you, I feel like somebody was telling you an appropriate way to make money and an inappropriate way to make money. Like they were telling you 
No, this isn't how you should make your money. You should make your money this way. No, this isn't how you should build your life. This is how you should, because that's what worked for them, right? That's what worked for them, Scorpio. What they're saying to you comes from a good place, but what is meant for you will not be the same as everyone else. It's going to be different. We're all different. We all have a different path. This is you stepping out and allowing yourself to be seen and allowing what you've been keeping within to flourish. This is who I am. This is what I want to do. I am going to make money. I am going to establish myself. I am going to be successful. I am going to create the life and the world that I want to live in. All right, Scorpio, sending you much love in your birthday season. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.